Alright, let's get this started. Welcome, folks. We're playing Metroid Prime. And we're playing the Prime Trilogy on Wii. So, let's see. Hmm. I think I might have loaded up an earlier, an, uh, an already established save file. Let me... <clears throat> yeah. Oops. <laughs> what an amazing start to this playthrough. But yeah, I love these games. Um, Metroid games in general are just so much fun. I think I like the 2D Metroids a little bit more than Metroid Prime, but the Prime games are still very good. Alright, let's try this again. Yes, we all know Nunchuck is required. I've got it right here. Can I not just, like, start my file over... We'll just do this. <laughs> We're using ET. It feels appropriate. I believe I've mentioned in the past um, that a lot of the time I like to take old games that were never designed or intended for playing in VR and uh, installing mods and stuff to make them work in VR. I've gotten Metroid Prime to work in VR, and it is super cool. I'm just imagining this opening cutscene, but also being able to look around. It's really neat seeing like all this play out but you have like free field of vision <clears throat> and of course since this game is in first person it works in VR remarkably well I think this might be my favorite iteration of the Varia suit. I believe this is the one that they based Samus's model in Brawl off of. Yeah, BB, we're playing with motion controls because I cannot stand aiming with a stick. Oh. Wasn't trying to scan that.
trying to remember what all the controls are. It's been years since I played this. On the Wii, anyway. I played the, um, when I played it in VR, I was using a GameCube controller. scanning everything, I'm really never going to 100% that. Mm, that's right. Stay down. <clears throat> So knowing about the development of this game, it is kind of a miracle it turned out as well as it did. They really, like, took a big risk trying to translate this game into a first-person shooter, but it works so well. And then on top of that, um, there was something like, at the time, Retro Studios. Oh, what was it? It was like... I can't remember exactly what the details were, but didn't, like, Nintendo show up to see how it was coming along and they basically like had to quickly cobble together a playable prototype or something like that. Die please. Oh, and if anyone ever wonders, like, you know, if I've got these games, like, running on VR on my PC or something like that, or just have it running on my PC in general, why don't I just do that? 
uh, two main reasons. Um, number one, for the kind of like feel that I'm going for with, I guess for lack of a better term, my brand. If I can play it on the original hardware, I would rather do that because I don't know, it's just kind of like a personal taste thing. Like, I feel like the, the experience I want to create requires me to use original hardware when I can. Um, but then the other reason is that, uh, specifically with like VR and stuff, um, most of the games I've gotten running in VR run kind of choppy, like there will be drop frames here and there and it'll jitter. It's not enough to make it unplayable, but I think it's just unsightly enough to not want to live stream it. When I'm live streaming, I want it to be like, you know, a smooth but authentic kind of experience. I hate these things so much. At least they don't deal a whole lot of damage. open this door again just because I saved weird Oh, did you just deal me one point of damage? That's adorable. To be fair, I am playing on normal mode, not veteran mode. big reason being that I don't think that retrying things over and over and over again uh, makes for good viewing material. And I'd rather not risk that.
you're dead. Don't care. Out of my way, please. I think for this game I'm gonna have to finally turn up my TV's screen brightness because, my god, there are some parts that I just really can't see. <laughs> Sometimes these doors uh, are slow to let you through, and the reason is that they're loading in the next room. Because I read something about, like, oh, that's right, there's a piston here. <laughs> I read something, like, uh, s something about how this game uh, performs, or some kind of design. I don't want, it, it wasn't a design document, but, like, basically, um, whenever Samus enters a room, the only rooms that are loaded in are the one that she's in and the one that she was in before, so that you can, like, quickly go back and forth between those two rooms, but then when you open a different door, that room has to load in before the door opens, and depending on the room size, depending on how many elements and objects and whatever is in there... <gasps> It, uh, sometimes takes a couple seconds for the door to open. Here comes the part where I lose all my abilities. basic suit. <laughs> you ever get the badass whipped out of you? <laughs> okay, where do, where do I need to go? Why, why can't I see the way forward? There we go. It's too dark. This game is too dark. It's sp spooky. Right. There we go. Can't go that way. It does help to shoot the door way early like that. Still loading rooms, I mean. God, Meta Ripple's design is so fucking cool.
I know that I'm playing this on the Wii, but this is a GameCube game, and it looks gorgeous. I remember the first time I played this, and like I saw the rain hitting Samus's visor like that, and like you go into the water. When you come out, the water like runs down the visor and stuff. Just cool little things like that. And I'm like, this is the future. That's right, I don't have a charge beam anymore. Gotta get used to playing this basic suit and basic abilities. Is there nothing else? Oh, here we go. I really am having a hard time seeing. Hang on, one second. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to adjust my screen's brightness. the best I'm going to be able to do. I don't know if that helped at all. Because <laughs> it's like still dark, but now everything's also muted. <laughs> Doesn't look like I can go that way. Is that right? Isn't there like land for me to stand on there? It just gets so dark I can't see what I'm doing. I guess I'm just not jumping high enough. I probably need the gravity suit or something. Or the high jump boots.
I keep trying to use the charge beam to attract items over to myself, and I keep forgetting I don't have the charge beam yet. That's like... That's like in Breath of the Wild. I've replayed that game so many times, and every time I start it over, I have to constantly remind myself that I don't have the glider yet. I don't have the paraglider yet. And so, <laughs> I need to make sure that I don't just jump off of a cliff <laughs> thinking that I'll be fine and just gently float down. <laughs> Like, it was my second playthrough of Breath of the Wild. Um, you know, when you first get out of the Shrine of Resurrection and it does that big crescendo of music with the sweeping shot of the vast land of Hyrule and all the places you get to explore, so many possibilities and stuff. And I just, like, walked right off the <laughs> edge right there because I forgot that I don't have the paraglider yet. <laughs> I also don't have the morph ball yet, so I can't go in here. People don't realize how valuable the charge shot and the morph ball are until you don't have them. And Dread did this really fun thing because, um, in case people don't know, usually the Morph Ball, if not the very first upgrade you get, is one of the earlier ones. And Dread uh, breaks convention by it being something that you don't get until you're, like, well past halfway through the game, I believe. You know, unless you sequence break, you can get it earlier. But still... I was shocked how much that game is spent without you having the morph ball yet. God, Metroid Dread is such a good game, too. I would like to play more Metroid games on stream, because this is one of my favorite franchises. The only thing is that right now... Um, I'm, like, coaching one of my friends through the entire series, and so I don't want to, like, play them on top of, like, watching him play them. That's, that's gonna burn me out. <clears throat> oh, he's right in my face. But yeah, I love these games. I love this universe. I I swear, if, if Nintendo announced that they were, like, either making a Metroid movie, like a live-action movie, or an animated television series or something, I would be so excited for that. That would get me so hyped. Fuck off, dude. God, you all suck. Go, get out. Those bugs are my only light source, <laughs> and I'm killing them. Is this where the seismic activity is happening? Yes, it is.
Ooh, I want that. Ooh, let me have that. It's gonna be a fight, and I'm not even at full health. War Wasp. Circles prey, then strikes. Only species on Talon 4 have a true hive mind. Striking from all sides as a single intelligence. Oh good, more of them. Don't you knock me off, motherfucker. There's a whole bunch of them this time. Jeez. This got really difficult. <laughs> I have missiles now. Looks like the only way to go requires the Morth Ball. can't really see where, like, the dangerous water is, because, you know, it's dark. Mm. I need to see if there's, like, an option 
in the menu or something. Screen brightness. Let's turn that baby up. Hmm. I didn't know that all these options were here. Okay. Oh, that's so much better. Now I can actually see. Yeah, there's these boxes that I can jump up onto. Consult the map real quick. Was there somewhere that was blocked off by like a missile door or something? There's a save room. I remember I needed the morph ball for there. It looks like there's a door there for missiles, so... Okay. want that. <clears throat> no. It's over here. Is this where I'm going to get the morph ball? Because it's looking a lot like it. Well, with the half pipe and the morph ball tunnel. And the morph ball sitting there, maybe. Maybe that is a tip. <laughs> So many of them. I can't 
tell if there's like one behind me or something that keeps hitting me. Because I keep taking damage, but I don't see from whom. Oh. You must be the mama. I wonder where its weak spot is. Oh, what was that? Hell yeah. I don't have bombs though. And this is so obviously a little bombable surface. <laughs> oh yeah, the music's grooving now. And speaking of the music, uh, I can't remember the composer's name. But apparently, at least uh, when developing this game... Oh wait, I don't have the... Yeah. That's right, I don't have the... Apparently, at least when he was composing for this game, I don't know about now, um, he doesn't know how to read music, uh, which gave me a whole lot of hope for aspirations of writing music for video games, because I can't really read music either. It's like, I can read music, like I can decipher it, you know? But it takes me a second, and, like, I can't read and play at the same time like professional musicians can. I guess I should say, um, not, not professional musicians, because, like I just explained, professional musicians don't necessarily have the ability to read and play. Um but like a classically trained musician. Okay, so now I should be able to go up into this area. You know what? Give me some health. Don't want to step in that stuff.
Hey, Sarah, how you doing? Almost makes you motion sick. <laughs> I don't know if I can do anything differently to combat that. a pathway here. Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm not trying to open the door. Gotcha. So I have to find these symbols and then scan them. Oh, I found one of the symbols. It's okay, mostly just listening anyway. I think it's just because I'm not the one playing, so the movements are throwing me off. Yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> to find more of those symbols. There's three more in this room somewhere. Oh, there's one. Can I, like, sit in that? I guess I can, but it doesn't really do anything. Oh, there's a runic symbol there that I could not see. Glad I just decided to open my visor here. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, so that means there's only one left. It's right there. Now what's this? Ah, okay, cool. Some Chozo lore. The Chozo are an ancient alien race in the Metroid universe. They're like bird people who were the creators of the titular Metroids. What's this thing? Hell yeah, I got my charge beam. All right, I have the two most fundamental yet f important or useful. I'm just straight up kill these things with the charge beam. Nice. Anyway, the Chozo are an ancient race of aliens. They're like bird people. They created the Metroids. Um, and they are all... Uh, Samus's like adopted f adoptive family uh, were the Chozo. But people haven't seen them for years. They're believed to have died out. God damn it. I was trying to jump over them and then a little piece of geometry kept me from making the leap. Let me save my game. <clears throat> That's how you can tell that I don't speedrun Metroid games. I save. <laughs> I have my charge beam, now I can pull all kinds of items to me. I don't think I can make that jump. Come on. Oh, really? 
Samus, get your head out of your ass. Well, now where did I go from here? Was was it there? Yeah. Okay. Totally make this jump. Yeah, what the fuck? Charge Beam also makes for a pretty good light. There's a bug that's just blocking the way. I guess I could have tried rockets on him, but I don't know if that would have worked. No, I can't go back to try it, so... I mean, this is kind of what you guys get for building your big wasp nest over a literal incinerator. I mean, what did you think was going to happen? Ooh, are those my morph bombs? Indeed they are.
Sup, Stove Jam? Wait, this isn't Christmas with the Cranks, too? Sorry to disappoint you, bruv. <laughs> Unfollowed? Yeah, do it. <laughs> How do I get my There we go. My missile's been expanded. can't go that way either because I don't have like the well oh yeah I totally can never mind <laughs> yo Samus do the thing There we go. I didn't have enough time. I'm actually worried about spoilers. Think I'm around this far. Ball in a cup. <laughs> yeah. If if you're worried about spoilers, you know, don't. Uh, you don't have to watch. Um. I am planning on going through the entire trilogy, and I'm hoping that by the time I finish it, Metroid Prime 4 comes out. Oh, he just ate me. Gross. No, I, I, um, I mean, I literally started an hour ago. Uh just got the morph ball and the charge beam and such. At this rate, yeah, I'm hoping for Metroid Prime 4. I've got that <laughs> I got that shit pre-ordered back when they announced it in 2017. Same with Bayonetta 3. I just got an email uh, from Best Buy about my um, pre-order for Bayonetta 3 uh, soon to pick up <laughs> from years ago. <laughs> and Metroid Prime 4 is going to be even a uh, longer wait, because I believe Prime 4 and Bayo 3 were announced in the same uh, presentation. I can't remember if it was just a general direct or if it was E3. But either way, pre-ordered... Metroid Prime 4 back in 2017, and it's 2022 now. <laughs> Good God. Oh, is that a timer? Oh, I think that's a timer. Okay, well, I'm just going to let it play out then, because no way I'm going to make it in time now. Excited for Matsuri. Matsuri Con? Yeah, I'm excited. I, um... I'm still trying to... Is it still going I feel like if I try to go now I'm just gonna go down there and then yeah yeah there it goes I'm still trying to figure out um, like what all cosplays I want to bring I know I definitely am gonna do fireball Mario again but okay that lowers the water and then I can access the area down there <clears throat> Let me. I 
recall a long pre-order like that for me, but I don't remember for what, but I think your five-year streak wins out. Yeah, probably. And, you know, that still depends on how long it's going to take for... I wasn't paying attention. Um, I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Uh, yeah, five-year streak go going on six years. <laughs> Oh, I was not paying attention. I need to do this again. Okay, so they raised the platforms, so I get it. Okay. Well, it looks like I can do it again. So... Platforms raised up from there. Got it. Got it. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to do this real quick, and then I'll pay attention to chat. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Oh, that was cool. Be cutting it close. No, that's not the right way. Okay. Recall. Still gonna be out before Breath of the Wild 2. Oh, you think? Charlie won most handsome dog? Um, I mean, congrats on him for winning, but, like, I don't know if that, uh, if he, if he would, like, take that as an insult, <laughs> you know? What with him being a cat and all. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Do I need to go this way? Well, I just went in a big circle, didn't I? I am really screwing this up. He crushed the competition and got free treats and toys. Okay, well, there's that at least. How do I get up there? Do I do this? I can't, I can't tell where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Cause like, I need to get up there somehow. This isn't reacting to me 
so. I feel like I'm in the right spot, but I'm just missing something. Do I need to... So you take the platforms, go into there. Does the timer need to not run out or something, maybe? Okay. Yep, that's totally what it was. Breath of the Wild 2 better cook me eggs in the morning at this rate, I swear. <laughs> uh, something, something, a delayed game, something, something good, and all that. Also, it's my fault for not reading the flyer thoroughly and didn't know it was a dog pick competition. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that. No one said anything when I turned in his picture. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> Did, like, nobody submit any dog pictures or something? <laughs> okay. Now I can get up here. Yeah, people just don't have dogs anymore, don't you know? Uh, cats are totally in right now, what with that uh, game Stray coming out. Everybody's playing it. I'm playing it. Oh, there's a more ball hole there. This place looks a little warm. Is that all that was back there? Hang on. Let me let me make sure. That there wasn't like some other part of this room. There's a door, but I can't unlock that kind of door. Looks like there's another way over here, maybe. This room is a lot smaller than the map is depicting, which makes me think that there's, like, an area above or something. This room is weird. It's got the same repeating magma-looking pattern. Oh, I, I, mm, well, hang on. Yeah, it looks like this is just a little pocket, and then there's an, another way in. <coughs> I'm so used to the new Metroid games where Samus can just, like, grab onto ledges and immediately go into Morph Ball. Just booted up the Wii U for some 
Twilight Princess HD, and you've just reminded me that I own this trilogy on Wii U. Yep, I remember it coming out on Wii U, too. I was like, that's cool. I'm glad that, you know, people will be able to enjoy these games without having to pay an arm and a leg. <clears throat> oh no, there were probably eight dogs. Charlie is just superior. I'll say, he is one handsome, handsome lad. I hope that the dog owners weren't too crestfallen that their canine companions lost to a cat. <laughs> Charlie is apparently a better dog than the dogs. <laughs> he walks on a leash. <laughs> Toilet princess. <laughs> God, I remember when I got Twilight Princess and I was just ecstatic. I loved that game. And then I revisited it like earlier this year, I can't remember, and I was like It's all right, but there, it's it's just got little things about it that annoy me now. Hang on, I want I want to look at that. How do I get in there? Is there like? Oh well, it l doesn't seem to matter that I can't go that way. Alright, well, where else can I go? For now, I'll make my way over to the save room. I think in a post Skyward Sword world and really a post Breath of the Wild world, it's hard not to see its age slash quality of life issues. For me, it's not even really that. Like, as far as the gameplay goes and stuff like that, it's not that. Twilight Princess is annoying to me, um, mostly because of, like, Those kids are so goddamn annoying, and the monkeys and the sound that they make grates on my ears, and, like, all of that shit I feel like could be cut out and nothing would be lost. And then... I don't know, I... I... I think I was, like, having trouble remembering some of the puzzles or something, and it was, like, really... It, those games want you to solve puzzles a very specific way, and sometimes it can come across, like, a bit myopic, and I think this is a strictly, like, Twilight Princess thing, because I went through... Um, uh, Wind Waker's dungeons and puzzles and stuff, and I didn't really, like, run into that as much. Metroid Prime, let's go! I still gotta go back and play this all the way through. What's up, Pat? So, like, have you played the first one but just never finished it, or what's, what's up? Because I've played and finished the first two, and then I started the third one, but I never finished it. Mm. Patty Cake, what is this? A crossover episode? <laughs> that opening is way too long for Twilight Princess. It, it just drags on for too much. And then you, like, go through the forest, and you, you have to, like, help... Like, you have to let the monkey, like, 
guide you through the forest because he has the lantern for some reason, even though it's your lantern. And he's, like, dissipating the smoke, and it's like, cool, I could have totally done this myself, but whatever. <laughs> the village being attacked brings you genuine joy. <laughs> Okay, so the save room is behind me. Yeah, once you get to Kakariko Village and Twilight Princess, it's it it's a bit better from there. Um I still think that, like, the Arbiter's Grounds is the gold standard for Zelda dungeons. Incredible setting, really, like, great mood setting. Um, while the dungeon item for it is silly, the way that it's used in the dungeon is really fun. It's like you're playing a fucking Tony Hawk game. Um, and it has the, hands down, the best boss fight in that game. bought the Wii Trilogy Pack but couldn't get into the Wii controls. See, I prefer the Wii controls because I, in, in any game where I have to aim, I hate using a stick. It is so difficult to be accurate using a stick. I prefer motion controls or uh, using a mouse or something that lets me like make very minor adjustments. That, that I have full control over. Control Stick just does not offer that. The bridge duel is pretty cool. In, uh, against, what is it, King Bulbin or something like that. <clears throat> I like your creative way of getting around the auto mod. <laughs> Stove jam. Okay, so there's a rocket door up there. Missile, whatever. I call them rockets. Can I get any further up there? There's a symbol I can scan. I need to find the other ones. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. <sighs> Fluid patterns analyzed. Let's see. Yeah, so I'm on the right track. I just need to get up to where that missile door is. Okay, okay. Fuckers. You suck. All of you. Can 
knock me off the edge. Okay. And there's the door. Is that the missile door, though? It leads to the missile door. Okay, well, there's another rune to scan. <clears throat> Those monkeys are assholes. Those monkeys are. They're, like, based on the design of the monkeys from Majora's Mask, but, like, way uglier. That's that's one thing that uh, Caitlin always complains about when it comes to Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword, is that the character designs are ugly as sin. But she especially hates them in Skyward Sword. game picks up once you're dressed as Link. Exactly. I, I, yeah, I think that's exactly right. The game becomes Legend of Zelda when you finally dress like you're the, like you're the hero. It has some of the coolest boss fights in Zelda history. Link's DSLs and Skyward Sword will always get a comment from me. Yeah, me too. And literally anybody who has eyes. Anybody who has eyes and can recognize DSLs when they see them. <laughs> but, like, everybody's designed to look like a bird, which, you know, in theory, sounds like a fun idea, but in uh, <laughs> execution comes up a bit short. What are the rest of these runes I gotta... I mean, like, is, is this... <laughs> to quote somebody else who doesn't really care for Skyward Sword, is this a puzzle? Is this a, really a puzzle? Looking for some... something in, little, in a little soulless corner? find these runes and scan them in order to progress forward. Is this a puzzle? Looking for a thing to whack. <laughs> oh, those are gonads. Oh, those are gonads. Strawberry latte. Hmm. Got that one. Uh, gotta find more of these symbols in order to progress forward. And they don't start glowing until after you've scanned them, of course.
just going in circles, looking for these dumb things to scan. Uh, it tests how well you know the room. Bitch, it tests my patience, is what it does. Let's see. That that looks interesting. Maybe maybe there's something over there. Oh, fuck off. I don't I don't care. Fuck off. There we go. There's one. Give me items. This feels like an extended Pepto commercial. <laughs> Get the antacid bomb. <laughs> For real. It's not it's not acidic water. It's toxic water. Two of the symbols appear on this central tree, which leads me to believe that the last one I'm looking for is probably on something else. Cause I, I don't know. I'm I I'm meta gaming right now, but I feel like the devs would try to like pick more places than the tree. It'd be weird to have three of them on the tree and then one of them on the ground over there. Especially since I've scaled this tree several times and haven't seen any other symbols on it. Go back to your home. Is there a way to get over onto that? Let me see if I can kill these things with a charge shot. No. doesn't help that this game is so dark. <laughs> Visibility is already difficult, and I've got this on max brightness. Wow, even missiles don't kill them. These things are just impervious. <clears throat> you can't kill these things no matter how hard you try. love being stuck in one room for this long because I have to f seek out some writing on the wall or something. It's super cool. 
Gameplay. At this point, I'm just scanning any and all things, hoping to just luck out and scan the thing that I need. If I remember correctly, though, this whole, like, looking for runes to scan thing isn't, like, throughout this game. So, hopefully, hopefully this is the last time we ever have to do this, because guess what? It's not fun. is the equivalent of looking for a thing to whack indeed <laughs> go back up you saw it where did you see it towards the top. On the wall before the poison grass. Like this poison grass or the poison grass down there? my left. <clears throat> well, I don't know what there where there was. <laughs>
I'm going to I'm going to go somewhere where I can look at this wall a little bit more clearly. How am I not seeing what you're seeing? <laughs> it's hidden before the step. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. No. Thanks for the help, chat. <laughs> All right, we can continue the adventure. Knock me out of range. Fuck off, dude. I remember the first time I fought this boss, it took me forever to figure out I was supposed to hit that. <laughs> This would be a hell of a game to mod multiplayer into. Yeah. Um, Prime 2 does have a multiplayer mode, but it's a, uh, like, competitive, like, you all play different clones of Samus and you have to kill each other. So it's like Metroid Goldeneye, essentially.
Dude, Federation Force actually kicks ass. Okay, the only reason that it got as much hate as it did was because people have been wanting Metroid Prime 4. God, just fucking stay dead. It's just bad timing. But Federation Force actually fucks. Definitely got way more shit than it deserved. I mean, it was made by Next Level Games. N yeah, Next Level Games made it. The same people who made uh, Mario Strikers, um, the Luigi's Mansion games after the first one. Uh, they made the Wii version of Punch Out, which is so goddamn good. I I don't think that they've made a single bad game. <laughs> I disagree, you can't starve a franchise and give a spin-off. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm not disagreeing with that sentiment at all. Um, I just think that people let that situation color their impression of the game. It's like, it plays like a multiplayer Metroid Prime, and that's cool as fuck. Um, I think people just disliked it. I think it was just like a, a visceral response. Like there was that petition that somebody made to like have it be canceled or something. I'm like, dude, chill out, okay? Like, I'm a huge Metroid fan, and I know about the drought and that the franchise gets, but it's still a good game. I think it's fair for people to be upset just meant the game itself in a vacuum is all right. Exactly. Like, you know, separated from the things going on surrounding it, the game by itself is perfectly fine and fun to play if you've got friends who have it. <clears throat> At the same time, do you think it would be better with more realistic graphics rather than the cartoonish aesthetic? I feel like that's the same kind of argument that people made for Wind Waker. Now that game is beloved, but at the time of its release, people hated that game. They they were expecting, you know, the Space World demo that was shown off with, like, the high definition at the time, um, Ocarina of Time, Link, and Ganon, and stuff like that. And, and people had the same kind of reaction to Wind Waker, but... It still, it still turned out to be a good game, and people still like it. I don't know. I've never been one to, like, worry too much about the look of a game. I'm more interested in how it plays. <clears throat> I know that there are some people where, like, the look, the art, whether it be the art style or the um, graphics and stuff like that, that matters to them. But honestly... A game could just be like a bunch of geometric shapes, and if it's fun to just move around and do stuff in, I'll I'll still enjoy it. <laughs> but that's just me personally. where you're going with the Wind Waker thing, I would say if Federation Force were closer to the main canon of Prime, less of a spin-off, I'd argue it should look more serious. Yeah, I, I mean, like, if Federation Force looked like, you know, the Prime games, but 
on a handheld, I would also welcome that. I know that a lot of people were turned off from like the chibi, you know, cartoonish uh, style of it. But like I said, it's still fun to play, even if it like looks like a Saturday morning cartoon. Because I feel like that was the kind of vibe they were going for with it. It's just kind of like a side thing you don't take too seriously. It's not like you have to be concerned so much with the canon or anything. It's just like, here's a game that plays like Metroid Prime, but it's multiplayer. I think the reaction would have been less if it looked like Hunter's. Maybe. Uh, it's hard to say because, like, Hunters is on original DS, so, like, its graphical fidelity, while it looks more like a Prime game, is not as, like, crisp, for lack of a better word. I don't know. If it, if it looked like Hunters, but looked like a 3DS game, yeah, I think, I think that it would have not had so much backlash. Also, I think a big part of it was the fact that they put Prime in the title of it. It's Metroid Prime Federation Force, and that really rubbed people the wrong way. Because it's like, we want Prime 4, and you're giving us this kitty-looking spin-off title. Yeah, I, I think that that was, like, you know, the big thing about it. But as I've said before, the game itself is fun to play. Especially, actually... It's unplayable uh, if you're doing single player in some cases, which I kind of disagree with that. Like, I don't think a game should be, like, strictly multiplayer. That's a personal opinion, though. Like, a game like that, you know, something that's, like, online multiplayer, obviously, yeah. But, like, if it is a campaign based let's see where where am i there's a elevator that goes down and i've already been in all of these areas it looks like so i'll okay i'll just take the elevator then and you know here's here's my hot take Metroid Prime Hunters, you know, as good as it looks, is kind of boring to play, so I don't really think of it too highly. <laughs> it's very repetitive. You do basically, like, the same thing every time. It's just, like, different colored areas. And you just do it, what is it, eight times over, and then you beat it. agreed with the prime but i think that matches since it was first person yeah I, I i think that i think that's kind of like the the rub of it because prime denotes oh uh first person you know adventure metroid game if they had some kind of naming convention like the way that mario does it so like games that are on console are called world and then games that are on handheld are called land and so there's, like, that distinction between the two. If, if Metroid had, like, a similar naming convention, but that would require Nintendo to pay attention to the Metroid franchise. <laughs> and we know they only do that once every couple decades. <laughs> I still can't believe that Fusion came out 19 years before Dread. That is insane to me. Let's see. If it were just Federation Force and had been a spin-off, the fact it teased with Prime. Yep. Just thought of another three-player game. You and me and Zephyr can do once we tire of Sea of Thieves. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be tired of Sea of Thieves. <laughs> I, I, I I don't play it by myself, but it is fun to play with, with you guys. Uh, Triforce Heroes. Um, maybe on Triforce Heroes, I would probably mo be more inclined to do uh, 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 Four Swords Adventures. Uh, 
Got my Metroid fix thanks to AM2R. Dude, AM2R is so fucking good. Like, and that was all one guy who made that, right? I, I'm not misremembering. That was one dude's passion project. AM2R, phenomenal game. And see, I was in the awkward situation of I had just downloaded uh, the original Metroid 2, like, emulated Game Boy game onto my 3DS from the eShop. And then they announced the... Or then, then I saw the AM2R thing, and then Nintendo announced uh, Samus Returns. I think that's the 3DS one. And I was like, well, I already have the original that I literally just downloaded, so I'm going to play that first. And then I waited until they announced Dread before I finally got the 3DS remake of Samus Returns. And that was really fun, and I was like, okay, if Mercury Steam can pull this off really well, then I have faith that Dread will be good. And guess what? Dread was fucking rad. <clears throat> I'm still debating whether it's my favorite Metroid or if, if Super Metroid is still my favorite. And I haven't decided if Dread has dethroned Super Metroid. <clears throat> Hang on one second. <laughs> Stove Jam, you're, you're just having a fun time with the sensors, aren't you? <laughs> Prime 2D looked cool, um, but, you know, Nintendo got a Nintendo. Like, Nintendo is a company that I can, like, simultaneously sing the praises of, and also 100% uh, with my full chest call them out on their bullshit. Glad to know that your parents were collectively GLaDOS. <laughs> but yeah, so I played the original Return of Samus on 3DS. Um, and then I finally got Samus Returns on 3DS when they added uh, or when they announced Dread because I wanted to test the waters and see how this developer I had never heard of before could handle making a Metroid game and then I've started AM2R but I haven't beaten it yet but from what I have played so far it's so good Wow, what an asshole.
Oh. Only problem with dread I can't play it with my uh, stickless arcade stick need those analog controls yeah I the controls did take some getting used to for sure and I I don't personally have one of those uh, arcade sticks but I can imagine that it's not the best time I played with a pro controller that's pretty much how I play all my switch games now but once you do master the controls for Dread, that is the best Samus has ever controlled in, in any of her games. My god, smooth like butter, and just quick and snappy, you do exactly what you need to do. Okay, I guess I'm gonna fuck off then. Two rockets to kill now. Gotcha. My only complaint for Metroid Dread is that the music isn't particularly memorable. Like, I, I couldn't reproduce uh, any of the songs if you asked me to. Like, what does the soundtrack for Metroid Dread sound like? I can't tell you. It's pretty unremarkable. As you know, I've only played and beaten Fusion and Super in that order. Started Prime 1, my own in some capacity. All the official Metroid games beyond that worth playing. Um, I actually don't know uh, off the top of my head which Metroid games you have. <laughs> um... I'll tell you something funny, though. So, I didn't get into Metroid until high school. Like, you know, the first time I had ever seen Samus was Super Smash Brothers for the N64. I didn't know anything about Metroid. And just one day in high school, because that was like the height of my gaming piracy days, um, I decided to download Super Metroid and give it a shot because everybody, you know, on all their lists and stuff saying how Super Metroid was one of the best Super Nintendo games and you gotta try it out and I did not care for it at first it was weird to control I was used to like you know how Mario jumps Samus's jumps were a lot more floaty and like she had two different kinds of jumps that were difficult to like control if you weren't used to it and then so, I left it alone for a bit, but I was still interested in getting into the franchise, so I went to GameStop, and I said, what Metroid games do you have? And they, and they gave me Other M. And I was like, okay, cool, I'll try this out. I took it home, and I, and I started playing, and I enjoyed Other M's gameplay. Its story, you know, it, it deserves all the criticism that it gets. But it plays well. It is a fun game to play. And I was like, okay, so I'm like learning some fundamental like Metroid stuff playing this game. And I took the knowledge of that with me into Super Metroid, and I love that game now. Fast forward a week later from that, and I ended up owning like almost every single Metroid game. <laughs> I all I you know week I owned like almost every Metroid game including this Prime trilogy. I was like I went to that same GameStop and I asked them um 
if they had any of the Metroid Prime games. The only one they had was uh, this Prime trilogy, and it was the Steel Book. Somebody had literally, like, I think the day before, sold it to them. And I was like, fuck, I'll buy that. Steel Book with three games for $70? <laughs> Try getting it now for $70. That's the best money I ever spent. <laughs> it was until Fusion on the 3DS where I finally got to give it a go. Beyond the ones mentioned, also Returns, Prime Trilogy, and Dread. Still have Other M. Never played it. One day I will. If you can just turn off your brain during like all the story beats and stuff, you will enjoy that game much more. Because, I mean, like, I don't care much for story in games, and even I can tell you that the story for it is kind of ass. Especially any time Samus starts monologuing. I understand why she sounds, like, so disinterested. It was, it was a problem in translating it for, for a Western audience. Because in Japanese culture, when a woman sounds like that, that's what, like, you know, a stoic, badass woman sounds like. And they tried telling, like, you know, the English voice actress to do that. And she did it. She did what she was directed to do. And it came out lesser for it. But the gameplay, I think, saves that game. <clears throat> Good night, Sarah. I'm glad I'm back to streaming, too. This month has been fucking busy. <laughs> Let's see. I've heard the gameplay of Other M is good. It's just the characterization of Samus people weren't fond of. There are issues with it, with Samus's characterization. Right now, um, I mentioned this earlier, but I'm essentially coaching uh, Alex through the games as you know, and right now we're on Other M, and so far he's of the same mind that, yeah, it's really fun to play, and he said that if it wasn't for me, he probably would have never given it a chance just because of the negative reception. Um, but, uh, where was I going with that? But yeah, he, he, he's of the same mind that, like, it's fun to play, but God, the story and characterization of Samus are well deserving of the criticism. Let's see, how do I get to where I need to go? That's, that's always the question in these Metroidvanias. How do I get to where I need to go? Okay, so... Are these all... Okay. It says any beam, but where was it? That door is... Hang on. Yeah. This isn't an any beam door. What the fuck, map? I think eventually I would like to stream more Metroid games, but since I am going through the franchise with Alex, uh, I don't I don't want to like burn myself out on it. Okay, so that's the doorway that I came in. So I need to go. I think. Okay, here's a save room.
doesn't look like I can go up that way. Can't go there. That's blocked. Well, we've been going for a little over two hours, so I think that this is probably a good spot to stop for now. So, thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call the stream there f for now. I should be back on tomorrow night to play more of this. Uh, anyway... I'll see you guys in the next stream. Thanks for joining me. And adios.